So I wanted to talk about a new hook that's in React 19 RC, and that is an experimental hook here called Use Action State. And I think it's important to understand how it's going to work because I'm assuming Next.js is going to also update their docs to start using it. Right now, if you kind of read through Next.js, they're still using Use Form State and Use Form Status. And I'll kind of explain how that currently works. So we have a page here that displays a form. And so this form is basically an input that has a default value. And then when I click on do stuff, notice that it'll submit and run the server action. It waits about a second. And then the input updates with Sally. And I'm using the form state that kind of handle these uh, values in the form that are changing. And so if you have built a form using server-side rendering with Next.js, this is kind of how it works. So basically you'd have to create a form and this is a use client component. Inside the form, you have a use form state which you call your server action and you define some initial state. And for example, down here, I'm basically saying use that state.name on the input. That's why when the page loads, it says Bob. But when I submit, I have another button over here that has a use client at the top. And that is basically just using another hook called use form status to know if the, the action's currently running, if the form's currently submitting, so that I can show some different values. It's kind of a lot of extra code just to do something really basic, right? And inside the action, let me show this real quick. It's really simple. Basically, you can take in the previous state here and you can return the new updated state after your action runs. And so this is nice because you can run this for like showing an alert or showing error messages, even when you turn JavaScript off, right? If I go over here and say JavaScript disable, notice that this form still works exactly like it did before. I can run it and it displays Sally. Notice that there is no loader in the button, but obviously there's no JavaScript, so you wouldn't expect a loader. So the new hook that I wanna talk about simplifies this just a little bit, which is pretty cool. So instead of use form state, you can say use action state. It's the exact same interface as before, but it returns pending right here. So this will be a Boolean that tells you if the form is currently submitting or not. And because of this, you don't have to go and use this other use form status. You could simply just grab this. You can put that here and I can just show the pending based on this pending Boolean right there, which is nice because now you don't have to like go and make a separate component and put it inside the form just to get the pending state of whatever. You can also have multiple forms on the same page and you can pick and choose where the pending Boolean is gonna show stuff up. So let's just go ahead and try this out. I do need to turn JavaScript back on. Let's enable JavaScript, refresh the page. And I am getting an error saying use action state is not a function. The reason I was getting that bug is because I did not create a Next.js project using this at RC. So if you wanna kind of play around with it, make sure you do that. Just run the app, I got everything moved over. And now let's try this out and make sure it works. If I click on do stuff, notice that it shows a spinner and then it changes the form to have Sally as well. So honestly, this is pretty nice, especially if you were doing the approach prior where you had like use form status. Kind of annoying that you couldn't just get the state of the running action, but now you can. So I kind of like that. Definitely check it out and be on the lookout for whenever this becomes uh, production ready. All right, have a good day. Happy coding.